So we are about to germinate the new genetics for the season. If you guys remember, I'm going to germinate the Sam Sarah Seeds uh, Green Love Potion. Was gifted those by a friend on Facebook. Thank you very much, buddy, if you're watching. And I'm also going to pop some freebies I got when I ordered my Geno Farm Auto Flowers. Uh, Reserva Provada Seeds Tangi. And that is by DNA Genetics, guys. Got a few regulars there, so I'm going to pop both of them. If I don't get any any females out of either one of them, and, and it, honestly one of them looks a little bit white, uh, I'll probably just uh, pop a couple other beans that I have hidden away. Uh, all of these seeds from Sam Sarah uh, though look very very viable. Nice tiger stripes, pretty dark. Really stoked to get some more indica uh, genetics in the garden. And just a quick breakdown on how I'm going to germinate them. I'm using the old fashioned cup of water method. Uh, the water has been sitting out and was bubbled for about 24 hours to make sure all the chlorine is out. I'm going to keep them in this water for about no more than uh, no more than uh, 24 hours and that's a max. Usually I'll, I'll keep them between 12 and 18 hours. Uh, if the beans have not popped in that time I'll actually place them in a wet paper towel for up to 24 more hours. Um, typically, I'll have the little roots, little taproot, breaking uh, the seed in about, uh, I would say, 12 hours even, usually. It, and if they don't pop by about, you know, 48 hours, I usually don't have the, the seeds germinate. Oh, it doesn't look like the camera's going to focus. But anyways, let's go ahead and drop these beans into the glass of water. I'm going to place them into my Winter Beer Fest 2016 glass. And the Tangies by Reserva Pravada will go into the 2015 Winter Brew Festival glass. Awesome beer. <laughs> and just a little more info on the seeds. Uh, let's see, I have to put this down for a second. The Sam Sarah Green Love Potion are a cross between Black Domina and Lavender. Again, an indica, an indica hybrid, about 80% indica, 20% sativa. They are feminized, and I have five of those beans. Tangi are regulars, going to be a sativa hybrid, and I'm not too sure about their uh, the its lineage. But either way, guys, that's exactly how I germinate. Cup of water with de, uh, dechlorinated water up to, let's say, 18 to 24 hours. If at that point they do not, uh, they do not germinate, we'll go ahead and place them in a wet paper towel for up to 24 more hours. Once you get a taproot popping out, place them into your medium. I'm using cocoa, so I'll place them in a straight cocoa perlite mix right after this. Uh, let me go ahead and give you guys a quick view of where I'm going to leave these ladies for the next few hours. Alright guys, I just placed my uh, my newly submerged beans on my heat mat in my drying closet. You want to try to keep your beans when they're germinating in a dark, uh, warm area. So the heat mat should provide some warmth and of course the closet will block out any light. Uh, hopefully these guys will pop within about 12 hours. Uh, I'll get back to you though. Cheers. All right, guys, this is 12 hours after placing the seeds in these cups of water. Uh, we've had the majority of them start sinking, both of the tangy and three of the green love potion. Uh, we're going to keep them in the cups for another you know, six hours, and then I'm going to place them in a wet paper towel uh, inside of a little Tupperware container. I uh, just wanted to give you guys another quick view of the seeds. You, The most viable are the ones that will sink, uh, not that the ones that float won't pop. Uh, look at that, both tangy seeds. All right, cheers, guys. We'll check in another another six hours or so. All right, we're here uh, 12 hours after the last video. I did let these ladies soak in cups for a little bit too long. Typically, I don't like to get them to 24 hours. Uh, between about, you know, 12 and 18 is a preferred little hot spot just to rehydrate the seeds and get them ready for germination. Um, but regardless of that, I do have a few beans cracking their shells. It looks like I have both tangy seeds down there showing their white little tails and I have I have one green love potion that's already cracked 
And I still have actually two floaters. And not that that means they're not going to crack, just usually a bad sign. But okay, let me go ahead and get these ladies in their Tupperware containers. I'll be right back. All right, guys. 12 hours after placing the, the seeds in the Tupperware containers, I've got a nice long taproot on all of the seeds except for one green love potion. Um, I still placed all of them in these either Rockwell cubes or rapid rooters, uh, just in case that last one decides to germinate. Uh, and I, I soaked all of these little starters in water pH'd at 5.5, no nutrients. I'm going to place them in the clone dome uh, on the heat mat in my little vegging station. I also put a little water at the base of this uh, just so that the heat mat evaporates and you know just keeps it nice and humid. And also I feel like uh, when, it, when it fogs up the, uh, the dome, I feel like it, it cuts down on the intensity of the light and my biggest issue lately has been after the plants kind of break ground, the LED seems to fry them. So hoping that I get a little bit better success with this clone dome. Uh, that's everything I had for you guys though, just wanted to give you a little view on how I germinate my plants. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the videos, like always, make sure you throw a comment down, uh, like the video, share if you really enjoyed it, uh, and like always, hit that subscribe button guys. Cheers.